and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be cooking with cast iron. Today's video is in collab with my sweet friend Anne from What's Up Family Home. I had messaged her a while back and asked if she would like to do this cast iron cooking collab with me, and I was so excited when she said yes. I have enjoyed Anne's channel for a long time, and I know that y'all will too. On her channel, she shares what's for dinners, new recipe ideas, grocery hauls, canning videos. She has a prepper pantry and a beautiful garden. She's also a stay-at-home grandma to her absolutely adorable grandsons, and I just know that y'all will absolutely love her. So make sure after my video, you go check out her channel and see what recipes she has for you cooking in cast iron. If you are coming over from Anne's channel, I am so thankful you decided to stop by. Here on my channel, I love to share what's for dinners, recipe ideas, grocery hauls, and every now and then I will share some of our life here on our small farm. If you enjoy that type of content, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of my YouTube family. For our first recipe, we are making a homemade chicken pot pie. With this recipe, you're gonna want about three to four chicken breast cooked. Um, if you have a rotisserie chicken, I think that would be really great. You could just shred that up. Um, if you want to, you can boil this and shred it up or you can use your Instant Pot. My husband and I are not big fans of like shredded boiled chicken. So I'm just gonna dice this up and cook it in the skillet before we actually get started on assembling the pot pie. My chicken is done cooking, so I have it here in my mixing bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add in one can of this cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna add in just some garlic powder. Some ground thyme. Some Italian seasoning. Some black pepper, I'm going to add in half of that onion that we diced up, I'm going to add in about two cups of frozen veggies, and then about one fourth cup of chicken broth. And then we're just gonna mix that all together. Once you get this all mixed, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your pie crust. I'm gonna bring over my cast iron skillet and I'm using a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Now you can make your own pie crust if you want to from scratch. I'm just gonna use this ready to bake pie crust that I got at the grocery store. It came with two in the package. Uh, my cast iron skillet is greased, so I'm just going to lay this here in the bottom, kind of push it in on the sides a little bit, okay, and then once you get that down, you're just going to take that mixture that we just made, and you're going to want to pour that inside. Once you get that in there, you're just going to take your second pie crust and lay it on top. <laughs> Did y'all hear Mosey? He must be hungry. I'm just going to kind of fold it and stick it to that lip that was up on that bottom layer of pie crust. All right, once you get that on top, you are gonna want to cut a couple vent holes with a knife. Okay. 
All right, just like that, and we are ready to bake. Now my oven is preheated, it's at 375 degrees, and I'm gonna put this oven in the oven for probably about 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, you just wanna make sure that this top gets, oh wait, I missed a step, hang on. After you slice your little vent holes in there, you're just gonna wanna take a little bit of an egg wash and put it all over the top here. So now I'm gonna put this in our preheated oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. And this is what we are having for dinner tonight, a cast iron skillet chicken pot pie. Y'all, that pot pie was so delicious and it was so beautiful. I almost didn't want to cut it open, but it was really, really good. I highly recommend it. And I also have a video on how to make a chicken pot pie with crescent rolls, and I will link that down in the description box. Our second recipe is actually a dessert, and it is called cherry pie biscuits. So I went ahead and greased my cast iron skillet. So I'm going to take a large can of just cherry pie filling and we're gonna dump that right in. Y'all, this uh, dessert is gonna be really good and it's only six ingredients. So I bet you already have half of the ingredients already in your pantry. So I'm just gonna spread this all evenly along the bottom. Doesn't it look pretty already? <laughs> okay, and now I have half a stick of butter here in this bowl and I'm just gonna go ahead and melt it. After you melt your butter, you're just gonna take a can of jumbo flaky biscuits. And after you get your biscuits out of the can, let's see if I can do it. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna get them out. And then one by one, I'm just gonna take them and soak them in that butter on each side. And then once you get each side done, you're just gonna sit it right on top of that cherry pie filling. Now, depending on how big of a dessert you're actually gonna make, uh, my cast iron skillet is just a 10 inch skillet. So I'm just gonna see how many biscuits I can get in there. Hopefully I can fit all of them in there, but we'll see. Um, but if you have a bigger family or if you're gonna make this for like an event or like a little church pit picnic um, And if you do a bigger pan than this Then you'll just want probably two cans of the cherry pie filling and We'll probably t at least two cans of the biscuits as well Once you get all your biscuits in your pan, you're just gonna wanna bake this at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or just until the uh, biscuits start getting brown. While that is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make an icing to go on top for when it comes out. So I'm just gonna take eight ounces of whipped cream cheese. I'm just gonna add everything in here to this bowl. If you have a KitchenAid mixer, you can use that. I think that would work even better than what I'm about to do. Um, but I just don't really feel like getting it out this evening. So I'm gonna try and just do it by hand. Or if you have a hand mixer, you can use that. Okay. You're gonna take 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar. And then we're going to take 1 teaspoon of just vanilla extract. Alright, and then you're just going to want to whisk this all together until everything is smooth. Using that whipped cream cheese really helped make this pretty easy. Um, I thought it was going to be harder to mix it by hand, but it really wasn't. Um, the recipe also said that you can add in one teaspoon of water if you feel like it's not thin enough. 
So you just use your best judgment on that. And that is how we make cherry pie biscuits. Um, this dessert is already so cute, but I think just putting it in the cast iron skillet just gives it a little bit of country class. That dessert is really delicious and it is super, super easy to put together. I really think that your family would enjoy it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Please don't forget to go check out Ann's channel and see all the cast iron cooking that she's doing this week. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.